Welcome back. So this is not that easy to read. This is what we call just a pure text view. I want a JSON view. I want to be able to see this as JSON. And there's plugins for all the different browsers. Some of them, they're all actually already implemented inside the browser, so you don't even have to find a plugin. But that's not the case for Chrome. I'm inside Chrome, so what I need to do is actually find a plugin that can convert this into a JSON viewer instead of actually just plain text. And yeah, you guessed it. I have to go back to my the tab up here, go to Developer Tools, under more tools, there's extensions right here. And under extensions, I have to find a new extension. So if I scroll to the bottom, there's get more extensions. I open that one, let me just zoom out. And then I search for JSON viewer like this. So I'll find some kind of JSON viewer and there's a lot to pick from. You can probably find a lot more than what I found right here, but I'm going to add this one, the JSON viewer right here. I really, this is not a favorite or anything. It's just the first one I found and I feel this kind of a good viewer <laughs> so you can pick your own and again they they exist for all the different browsers so go and find another one if you want to in your browser so now that I've installed this I can go and rate it I don't care about that right now instead I'll go back to my localhost I'll do a refresh and now notice we just changed into an actual JSON view notice the difference it's actually structured now like objects right so that's also what we wanted a JavaScript object notation this is the JSON view Another thing you'll notice is I can go back to the raw view by just clicking this guy and go back to the JSON overview if I want to. Another thing is you can actually collapse or expand your different objects in here. That makes sense when we start having some bigger and more complex structures than this guy right here. So that's it. Now you have a JSON viewer making it a lot easier for you to get an overview of the data you're getting back. See you in the next lesson where we'll actually start working on the delete function. Have fun.